love, 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 love that worship song. So, you know, I was thinking a lot this morning, just having my quiet time, listening to lots of different teachings on different things, especially, you know, the uh, relationship and fellowship intimacy with the Holy Spirit, you know, our anointing and power and authority in Him through our intimacy with Jesus and with the Holy Spirit. Um, and just putting my things away, putting my spring, you know, um, clothing, tropical stuff, dresses, putting it towards the back and pulling out my sweater dresses towards the front and just organizing my um, closet and um, bedroom, putting clean things away, organizing it, just having myself a wonderful time in the Lord. And there were times when my being was just surging with joy and happiness from deep within that I can't explain. And all I can do is thank God. All I can do is just praise the Lord for His goodness his mercy, his faithfulness, you know, as I'm going about my business in my condo by myself, um, cooking, washing, putting away laundry and worshiping the Lord and getting ready for the day. Uh, I just showed you the area where I wash my car. This is where I go to wash my car. But this week I don't have time. I'm getting ready to run across town to, um, meet my brother his beautiful wife and family we're checking the children out of school early so they can all go to um, Universal Studio this weekend so I'm excited for them um, just wanted to take a moment to uh, encourage you guys my brothers and my sisters in the Lord you know many of us are in the midst of construction our lives are under construction as you know if you know me and you've been following um, my life my videos my um, testimony um, this is uh, going on a year of separation um, in the process of divorce and um, so the Lord has hid me this past year just hid me in beautiful places sanctuary so he can heal me, restore me, and um, make me whole, mind, body, and soul again. Um, and many of you right now are going through all kinds of stuff. My precious uh, friend, trainer with Century 21 right now, today, he's um, his beautiful wife, <clears throat> his funeral is today. And many more of you guys are going through so much more. Um, sickness, diseases, separation, divorce, uh, financial hardship, difficulties, so many things that stresses us out. So although we are sons and daughters of the Most High God and the victory has already been given through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, we are victorious in Him, sometimes in the midst of the process of our lives being constructed, reconstructed, renovated, whatever you want to call it, um, you know, with all of life's interruption that we didn't plan for, that we prayed against, um, and it didn't happen. Like for me, you know, I prayed for years and years and years, years, you know, for the Lord to restore my marriage and that, you know, we would both fall in love with Jesus and serve Him all the days of our lives well that didn't happen anyways um, but God is good God is awesome and I give him praise glory and honor I don't know what he's got for me in the new season to come 2022 I only know that he's awesome and regardless of what the circumstances of my life or what my emotions feel at times because at times it doesn't feel victorious at times you know it wants to you know, given to um, self-pity or heartache or uh, the spirit of rejection and things like that. But um, because we have the spirit of the living God living inside us, he doesn't let us stay in the pit for long. He will empower us. He will quicken our spirit and he will pull us out of our pits 
regardless of what your pit is amen so we already have the victory in Christ Jesus regardless of what it looks like or what you feel like or what you're going through it doesn't matter we already have the victory and wanted to bring this word to encourage all of us so we could keep our focus on the victorious one who shed his blood to give us the victory that we have today amen hallelujah we are in a battle every day of our lives against the flesh sin sickness or other evils in this world as followers of Jesus we should eagerly expect and pray for victory because that is what Jesus promises to us let me turn my AC down it's a little bit loud the only reason we can pray for victory is because Jesus purchased everything we need to experience in life forgiveness of sins healing of the mind and body hallelujah thank you lord deliverance from demonic influence provision for our needs and more many people who has heard my testimony from the killing fields through fields of grace of all the um trials tragedies that god has delivered me from from all forms of death half of my life has been a, a life of major warfare genocide holocaust brokenness rejection betrayal abandonment a lot of pain painful childhood painful young adult lives painful teenage years but they asked me how is it that Lakina is not behind bars or in the mental institution somewhere well that's a good question and the answer is you already know it Jesus 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 amen hallelujah he shed his blood on Calvary to deliver us not just from the power of darkness death and destruction but to give us salvation forgiveness of sins and healing to our mind our thoughts our emotions our soul amen and to redeem our spirit hallelujah to God glory to God so that's how it's not because I'm smart it's not because I love God more than you know you or anybody else it's not because I spend this amount of time reading my Bible and um, worshiping the Lord I do all of those things however it's not me it is the shed blood of Jesus Christ on Calvary that I'm able to function to thrive to smile to joy to to joyfully uh, love God and love others and accept myself for all of the failures and um, shortcomings that I have um, committed and still facing every day amen but I cling to the cross I cling to the cross I cling to Jesus for dear life he's my reasons for victory in every areas of my life he's my joy he's my song he's my deliverance he's my sanity glory to God thank you Lord thank you Lord we don't gain victory because we are good enough or pray enough or read the Bible enough we only have the victory because Jesus has won the battle and Jesus has won the battle so if you have been born again by the Spirit of God and you are submitted to him you too have won the battle and you will continue to win every battles that this life throws at us amen hallelujah we submit to God then the enemy flees if we do not submit to God then he won't flee hallelujah so we win by submitting to God thank you Lord thank you Lord he has defeated the last enemy to be defeated which is death knowing that should cause us to be thankful in the midst of the battle any battles every battles that we face we ought to have a thankful heart a heart full of praise and thanksgiving because we've already won because of Christ because of his shed blood on Calvary amen thank you Lord thank you Lord let faith and hope arise within us because Jesus has won the victory on our behalf glory to God Jesus Christ is the victor and he invites us to join him in that victory thank you Lord here's my grandma's favorite um, scripture she wrote it in Cambodian to me 
uh, when I first got born again. I still have it in one of my Bibles and it's got like oil and stuff on it. It's been through the kitchen, <laughs> probably her kitchen before she gave it to me because we cook a lot. She's, she's an amazing cook. I learned to cook from her, my aunt, my mom, my brother, my cousins, everybody. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you, in God whose word I praise, in God I trust, and I'm not afraid. What can mere mortals, mortals do to me? Amen? We have no fear because our God is for us and he lives in us. And he's always, every battle, he fights for us and he's already won. And we win because he's already won. Thank you, Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's scheme. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. I just want to highlight, do not leave out Ephesians 6, verse 18, which is pray in the spirit, pray for the saints at all times. That is one of the full armor of God that many, many of us Christians do not acknowledge. We have to put on the whole armor of God, Ephesians 6, verse 10 through 18, amen, in order to stand. Having done all, then we will stand. If we do not put on the full armor of God and we leave out verse 18, which is pray in the spirit, pray for the saints, then we will not stand. What soldiers show up for battles without their full armors on and not expect to get wounded or killed amen so we have to put on the full armors of god ephesians 6 10 through 18 all of it glory to god then we will stand after we have done it hallelujah little children you are from god and have overcome them for he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world thank you jesus Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you guys, but I like to be on the winning team. I don't want to be on the loser team. Jesus is the victor. We are victorious. Amen. He's the line of Judah. No power on earth, heaven or hell can defeat or overthrow him. And we're on his team because we are his sons and his daughters. Glory to God. That's enough to give him praise every day, like 10 times a day. David praises God seven times a day, worships him seven times a day. So we ought to follow his example because he is a man after mine own heart. That's what God calls him. Thank you, Lord. Jesus, you defeated death, hell, and the grave at Calvary. I thank you that there is nothing that can separate me from your love. Despite horrible earthly circumstances, you promise me overwhelming victory in Christ Jesus. You give me the faith, for, the faith that I need to overcome the effects of the world. Faith comes by hearing, hearing the word of God. So I pray that this word, these words going into your ears, lodging into your heart will build up your faith and empower you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for the gifts of faith. I trust that you are greater than the one who is in the world. Jesus, you live in me by the person of the Holy Spirit. We must have an intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit. Amen. He is a person, not an it. He hears us. He's with us. He's in us. He goes everywhere with us. He's our bestest friend. He's our comforter. Hallelujah. He's our helper. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So cause me to rise up and trust that the victory you purchase on the cross is enough for me. It's Jesus shed blood that purchased your salvation, forgiveness of sins and victory enough for you. Are you still waiting for another savior? That's not coming, hallelujah. He is enough. Thank you Lord for leading me in triumph. May the word of God be a light unto your path, a lamp unto your feet and mine that leads us into triumphs from glory to glory, victory to victory. Amen. I love you guys. I have to run. Have a blessed, victorious, triumphant day in Christ. Amen.